A couple of weeks ago, we told you to expect more attack ads as the race for Louisiana governor gets closer to the runoff. Well, our predictions turned out to be spot on as both campaigns have released ads attacking each other. But what are the strategies behind those ads? Paul Dudley and WWL TV political analyst Clancy Dubose watched some to get a better idea of the mission behind the message. Clancy, you predicted it. There have been a lot of attack ads in the last few weeks. Before we get into some of these recent attack ads, why does a campaign choose to go the attack route? Oftentimes, simply because it works. Uh, and usually it's because uh, one's opponent leaves himself or herself open to attack. And strategically, if you think you have an opening to take a few points off your opponent, you really should do it. And I've selected two attack ads, one from the Governor John Bell Edwards campaign, one paid for by the Responi campaign. Let's take a look at the Responi one released just today. Liberal John Bell Edwards, so desperate, they're playing the race card. Listen. What is the difference between David Duke, Edward Boney, and Donald Trump? They do not care about you or anyone who looks like you. Disagree with their illegal immigrant coddling tax and spend agenda, and the liberals call you a racist. And Clancy, this, this latest point. ad from the Responi campaign uses snippets of another political ad from the Black Organization for Leadership Development, AKA Bold. The ad features Jay Banks, who's of course New Orleans City Councilman. What's your take on this ad here? It's a TV ad that's responding to a radio ad. The radio ad was aimed at black audiences. Responi's TV ad responding to it is aimed at white audiences, which are largely Donald Trump's base of support here in Louisiana. The Edwards campaign had touted for a while that they hadn't paid for a single attack ad. That, of course, was in the primary. That changed in the runoff election. And this one here is called So Proud. It is a great honor with a lot of pride that I get the opportunity to, to introduce our speaker, Governor Bobby Jindal. We have a major budget crisis in Louisiana. Two billion dollar shortfall. It's done a phenomenal job. It's funding. I now, so Clancy, proud. obviously in this ad, the governor is trying to compare Responi to Bobby Jindal. Why is he doing that? Number one, because Eddie Responi and Bobby Jindal basically come from the same place philosophically. And Bobby Jindal is extremely unpopular. He was unpopular during his second term as governor. He remains unpopular today. And everybody, Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, Pretty much everybody agrees he was a disaster as governor, so he's a convenient foil for Edwards to use against Responi. And Clancy, in the past you have said that attack ads can work, but they've really got to hit the target. What's your opinion on this? I think both of those ads are effective. I think Responi hits the mark very well among his base of support in responding to the bold ad, and I think the Edwards attack ad on Responi is very effective in hanging Bobby Jindal around Eddie Responi's neck. So it's all about turnout. It's a very close race. And last question here, Clancy, I'll get you out of here on this one. November 16th is the election. What are we going to see from now until then? An increasing volume of attack ads. More. More. All right. Clancy Dubos, thank you so much. We'll throw it back to you guys. All right. Even more of them are coming at you. The campaign for governor for Governor John Bell Edwards, I should say, says it's not responsible in any way for the radio ad by Bold that sparked that Responi response attack ad.